In this video, I'm showing you how to install mod packs for Minecraft. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. I really do appreciate it. In order to go out and follow this guide as well, you do need to already own Minecraft and have purchased it um, from the official Minecraft website. But any further ado, let's go and get into this and go and get some mod packs. The first step in order to go and download Minecraft mod packs is to go and open up a web browser. So I'm personally using Google Chrome and then you need to come to a search engine and I'm using Google. Now once you're here on Google, all you want to do is go and search for something called CurseForge. Now I'm going to fully explain what CurseForge does and how you can exactly use it. We go and search for it and make sure you come to curseforge.com. Then all you want to do is come to the top row on CurseForge and you want to go and look for CurseForge app. At the minute it's the second one in. So you click on CurseForge app just like so and here it is, we're on the download page for it. So what CurseForge is, is basically a program which has loads of Minecraft mod packs on and we can go and use this to go and get the Minecraft mod packs we want. And it's available on Windows and Mac as well, which is really cool. And I'm showing you exactly how to use this. So you're going to go on Windows just like so, and it's going to go and drop the download. It's not very big at all as this is just the installer. So you may need to go and open up your file explorer if your browser doesn't have downloads in the bottom. So go and click on it and go to your downloads folder. But for now, I'm going to go and drag this onto my desktop just like so. Then all you want to do is go and double click on the installer and we're going to go and get a Windows security pop up. Unfortunately, my computer will not record this. Then we're going to go and get this installer here. You probably speak in really English if you're watching this video, but go and change it if you like. Then you can go and click on next and we'll just wait for the next step. I personally want a desktop shortcut, but I'm not going to have one for Overwolf. And then you need to make sure you've read and accepted the terms and privacy policy. I personally already have. Then I'm going to go and click on next and go and click accept and install. Now it's going to go and download this file here and just download everything it's needed for CurseForge. As we, like I said before, we only downloaded the installer. It's now downloading the actual files. So sit back and relax this to finish. Then once it goes and finishes, you're going to go and get this notification here saying CurseForge and Overwolves is successfully installed. And you're also going to go and get a thank you page uh, on your web browser as well. Then all you want to do is go and click on launch just like so. And as you can see, it's saying preparing for the first launch. And here we go. CurseForge is now launching up. As you can see, you're going to go and get this animation here. Then all you need to do is go and skip the intros. I'm going to show you exactly how to use it. And here we are where we need to go and choose a game. So Minecraft is going to be on this screen somewhere. You may need to scroll down and it's probably going to say not installed. Mine personally says one mod pack installed as I previously used CurseForge before, but yours is going to say not installed. So you may need to go and click on it and then it may do a quick download. But then once it's done that, all you need to do is go and click on search mod packs and you can go and search for any mod pack you would like or you can go and click on browse mod packs to go and see what they have available. And now you can go and browse through. As you can see, they've got so many. They've got Pixel one up here, I'm pretty sure. Loads and loads and loads, and pretty much most packs you're probably gonna want, and more will keep loading when you scroll to the bottom as well. So I'm now gonna scroll right to the top, as personally, I want to go and try this with the Pixel mod mod pack. So I'm gonna go and click install just like so, and then here it is. It's now installing. What it's gonna go and do is it's gonna download all of the mods, and you can just go and wait for this to finish. If you want to come off of this screen, you want to go click on my mod packs then it's going to go and show you the current step but you can go and be on either of these screens it doesn't really matter but you can sit back and relax and wait for this to finish then once the download is finished when you go and hover your mouse over it the play button is going to be available so all you need to do is press play and then as you can see, it's installing and now it's going to go and open up the Minecraft launcher. Now you're probably going to need to go and sign into the Minecraft launcher as well. You do need to fully own Minecraft, as I said earlier in the video, in order to go and use this. So then you need to go and click on play. As you can see, uh, make sure the Pix1 mod pack is selected and then go and click on play. Then you need to go and agree the risks of running Minecraft mod packs. So click a play again, and then we can just go and wait for it to load. It may have to do some more downloading as you can see on the screen right now. So here we are, Pixel One has now loaded. So all I'm gonna go and do is go and press on single player. Then I'm gonna go and create a brand new world in creative, and I'll then show you what it looks like once it loads. And here we are, Pixel One has now loaded. And honestly guys, there are so many other awesome mod packs as well available on CurseForge. It's definitely worth going and checking out. I hope you did find this video useful. If you did, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a like for more, peace.